Okay, hey, this is Phil. Um, I don't have a camera mount or any kind of thing like that, so I'm holding this with one hand, and I'm going to demonstrate on the computer uh, my hand, other hand on the mouse. So, anyways, someone wants to know how to make a complex border shape, uh, an outline, basically, uh, that consisted of uh, an oval bump out on top and four corners, uh, basically, cut. I'm going to actually demonstrate it in Inkscape and in Easel. You can do it in both, okay? Complex shapes in both. So here we have, uh, in Inkscape, uh, we have the oval shape. Uh, up here at the top, um, you can do everything by coordinates, X and Y. Uh, you can also make things center. So you can switch this from page to, uh, let's say, first selected, okay? And you can select this. And I'm going to put the phone down here for a second. I hold down shift, select the other one, and when I hit center, it's going to center on that. And then the same thing on this, uh, let's see, how is this going to work? Like that. Uh, it's centered now, at least from top to bottom. I know that this is a one inch high. Uh, circle or oval so I can move this to I believe let's see 1.5 y and it will be half lapped okay so here we have just a standard rectangle right here and a circle shape you start with this guy right here okay and you select both of them and you go up to path okay path up there and it's difference. I keep on saying exclusion, but it's difference. So you hit difference. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the other ones. Uh, difference cuts cuts away. Hang on. Yeah. What I want to do is combine. So you go like this. Again, path. Path. Combine. Oh, I'm sorry. I go messing it up again. Combine just makes the two shapes one. It's been a while since I did this. Uh, path, cannot combine. It's union, there we go, union. Okay, so here we go, union. There I made my shape. Um, you could, you know, set this down if you wanted the arc knot to come in at the uh, tangent point there. Uh, okay, here we have the circles. We want to do a cut. I'm just going to sloppily do this. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this. You you can spend time and uh, and line everything up using the coordinates. Okay. So we're gonna go like this. And uh, let's see, I I don't know if this will work all at once or not. No, it didn't work. It didn't like that. So I gotta select two objects at a time or one at a time and say difference sorry again object path difference and I don't know if uh, I don't know if it matters uh, the order in which you select but anyways you can see how that's going to work Okay, so there's there's how to make your complex border shape uh, in Inkscape. Hey, there's my Day of the Dead skull. All right, here we are in Easel. Okay, I'm starting here with a rectangle, circles, and the oval. Same shapes, okay? Uh, first, the easy one, okay? Easy one is combine. So I'm going to take this shape. I already have everything lined up. All I'm going to do, uh, this is a 2 inch by 3 inch uh, rectangle. I'm just going to move this thing over on the X to so it was center of 1.5. And there we have that. Okay. I'm going to select the two objects. And I'm going to go uh, edit. Combine. Now those two objects are one. 
um, they should be the same fill okay if they're not the same fill depth you could have some serious issues um, okay now is the more difficult part uh, or so it sounds uh, I'm taking these circles and I'm gonna line them up in the corners uh, I'm actually gonna shrink them too they're kinda big so we're gonna move those guys the X and Y coordinates are going to be uh, by three Of course, I forgot to hit the center mark. Okay, so we're going to move these. Into position. Okay. So now we have our overlap. We're going to select them and go to Apps. We're going to do Exploder. And you'll see it's going to come in every place where there's an overlap. It's going to actually exclude that stuff. Okay. So we go Import. We come off here. And we can actually get rid of these half circles. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't always work with the, uh, actually I don't even know what this slider does. Okay, well, anyways, it didn't like, uh, Doing more than two, maybe? This is a trial and error here. I only know in theory how to do this. Okay. It doesn't like, for some reason, those two. Bear with me, folks. Let's see if this works. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't like that corner. Maybe, uh... Maybe somebody else can take a look at that. Someone who has uh, uh, capabilities of uh, messing with these apps. Because that should get rid of the overlap. Let's uh, see what happens here anyways. It really doesn't... It does not want to remove uh, a circle from the upper right corner. kind of goofy. Well, that's the only way I would have known to do it in uh, an easel. But anyways, so Inkscape looks like uh, <laughs> your best bet. Um, we'll take this and I'll go ahead and finish this up real quick. Path difference, path difference. Okay, we'll save this real quick. Right on the desktop called, let's see, outline one. 
go import it. Desktop outline one. Here it is. I'm just going to go like this. And heck, let's have some fun. Here's my handy dandy marker setup. And this is the raised X carve. There's an inch. There's another. There's a third. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I should do it. Okay, well. See what that border looks like. Oh, it looks like we need to go deeper is what it looks like. Still didn't go deep enough. Oh well, you guys get the, you guys get the point. Uh, anyways, it looks like uh, definitely the way to go. That's funny. I did not. Oh, there it is. That's why. It's going multi-pass. Anyways, so there's your border. Uh, your best bet is an Inkscape. Uh, honestly, Inkscape works very well for drawing. Uh, I really don't like how putsy it is to draw an easel. Uh, it can be done, but obviously you can see, I think we need, what we need is a, an exclude. Uh, we need some kind of like cut feature. Uh, we have a combine, which is great. There's a combine, so you get two two shapes, and we can combine real easy. Okay. But what we can't do, what we can't do is the opposite. I'd like to be able to take a shape and cut it. If we could do that in easel, you would open up all sorts of stuff. Right now, the uh, Exploder tool is the only one that, that I know of that's supposed to do it. Maybe you guys know of something else that's supposed to be able to take up drawn shape and cut it away from another drawn shape. Uh, let me know. All right. That's all I got.